Hey, what's up guys? Phil here. And this video is just a quick view of the Unreal Engine and converting one of their free assets that they have, that's found in the marketplace uh, that you can convert to virtual reality very quickly using their blueprints system uh, on the Unreal Engine editor. So I'm actually very new to the Unreal Engine and I literally just learned it uh, about three weeks ago, so it's still very fresh. However, because I've had the, the time to be able to explore some of the things that you can do with the Unreal Engine, I can tell you right now I'm looking forward to exploring and developing more skills and knowledge on using a lot of the tool sets because there's a lot of different capabilities that can be done. So what you see here in the viewport in in the Unreal Engine editor is actually one of uh, is is the asset uh, called Soul Slum, and if you're not familiar with the Unreal Engine, uh, what you see here uh, this glowing green area uh, is called a nav mesh, and it's part of one of the, the volumes classes. I want to say the classes that they have, um, and that's this is essentially the area that the player or um, the AI can travel through. On, on the map, and the actual the actual map for for this asset is is quite large, and there's only a certain amount of area that I was able to uh, to successfully uh, travel uh, or successfully create the, the nav mesh so that you could travel through it, and I'm going to be demonstrating that in, in a few in a few moments here, uh, but I wanted to be able to describe that um, one of the great things uh, about this. Uh, the Unreal Engine, and then on top of that, this asset they, they provided um, free on their marketplace is that this was not originally created for virtual reality. And from my understanding, this was a demonstration that they provided at a convention back in 2012 um, to show the capabilities for mobile applications like a phone. Um, so, so what's what's interesting, and I think part part of the reason why it performs really well using um, a, virtual a virtual reality headset like the HTC Vive, which is the one that I, that I have set up right now, um, is that the, the performance capabilities and being able to experience you know, what they created here in virtual space and then being able to, uh, to, do, uh, to be able to apply uh, virtual reality to it very quickly is really quite amazing. And um, it really just encourages me to want to wanna learn more about uh, in being able to create experiences that, that people can, uh, that other people can experience other than uh, myself. So with that in mind, guys, uh, I'm just going to jump right into the virtual space. I'm going to get this thing started up and uh, go into the virtual space and then travel through it. Hopefully, I adjusted the desktop volume so that you can hear my voice. Uh, I did make an earlier recording of this, however, uh, because they have a lot of different ambient sounds that are attached to the, uh, to this particular asset, um, you know, it's it's going to take up it might take up a, a lot of the, the sound or, or might overcrowd some of the, my, my voice here. So right now I'm, I'm in that tunnel. So what you saw in the camera or the the camera that was just right on top of that glowing surface or on the floor. Uh, that's that's where the, the headset starts, and I'm looking through this tunnel right there. And if you can see on the screen, it's raining outside. Um, but inside, um, you know, there's a representation of of this open wire here, this this sparking. And then obviously because uh, this this asset here is was already completed a long time ago, um, there. Are quite a bit of detail. There's quite a bit of detail that you can experience um, in the virtual space going through this. But as you get, as I get closer to the to that open area there in the hallway, uh, the the sound of the rain starts to increase. And again, it's, it's quite amazing to be in this type of atmosphere, um, and it, and then on top of that, it really gives a good representation. Of, of the scale, the size of of an environment that you that you want people to experience, and um, there is going to be some 
some issues, and I think part of that has to do with the fact that this was not originally made for virtual reality. So there might be a little bit of distortion that you see from the rain effects, if you can see it on the screen. I know I can see it um, wearing the headset. And again, it's a totally different experience when you're in virtual reality. To see some of the um, to see some of uh, the components that are built into an, uh, an environment like like is this, but regardless of some of the strange artifacts or distortion that you see on the screen, it's absolutely incredible to get a sense of what the engineers and and uh, artists have really put together. Not only is art is this just looks absolutely sprawling and beautiful. Um, but you really get a sense of scale, like how big this city is, just from where you are. Um, there are some scaling issues, like these stairs look very tall, uh, probably made for a giant, but again, uh, I think part of the reason for that, um, when, when this was being put together originally, was that it was made for mobile, so some of the, you know, some of the areas just might look a, a little strange because of uh, because of that simple fact. Otherwise, you know, if, if there were if there were things being created in virtual reality, or more specifically for virtual reality, um, some of those things uh, during the development process would be would be taken care of. But it's it's, it's absolutely absolutely just amazing. You know that that looks like it's 50 feet up in the air. And then on top of that, as as we as we pass by certain parts of this. Of this environment, um, there are ambient sounds coming from uh, the cables that run um, to to this truss over here, and there might be some strange things if you notice on the screen here that some of the water droplets are kind of just suspended in air, and again, just I, I can't say it enough. Part of the reason for that is because originally this wasn't made for virtual reality. So some of the effects that were included in this experience um, was originally intended, and it might have, uh, you know, might not have been, uh, uh, you know, looked at because because uh, because the experience was a little bit different uh, if you were to navigate through uh, through the cityscape here. So just kind of keep that in mind. So there, there is a little bit of distortion on the walls in certain instances uh, from angles. And again, I think that's just a, a combination of it wasn't applied to, this originally was not applied to virtual reality. But regardless, regardless of those, I mean, you can't deny how incredible this is. I mean, the, the steam or the smoke coming from that pipe, you know, occupies a certain volume of space. And it's just, it's there, it looks, it looks absolutely amazing. And it really gives you a sense of atmosphere or a sense of presence that you are in this city. Like this is incredible right here, just looking at the cityscapes or the other, other side of the city and then, you know, you can look down and all right, at the bottom of the river, the small river. I mean, this was set up very well, for sure, and I'm very pleased to be able to show that 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 with something like the Underworld Engine, you can essentially convert um, convert existing assets into into environments that you can travel through in the virtual space, and it's absolutely just a stunning experience. It was, okay, so I'm here, I'm entering this area, and as I enter the area, the ambient sounds from the outside of the rain starts to decrease. And there are different sounds here, and obviously you can see in this environment that there is some artificial lighting that also projects um, into, onto my, you know, onto my uh, representation of the game in the virtual space. So it's absolutely incredible. That, that can be done again. This is this was not intended for a virtual reality, but you can experience this. 
is it the way you're doing the legend? Um, or, you know, maybe I can just kind of do a quick tutorial about custom this with you just as a quick asset. Um, but you will have to download the Unreal Engine Editor. So I'm coming to the end of, of, the, of this environment here, or at least the area that we can traverse through. Um, this area originally was not, I was not able to navigate through. However, um, I was able to change that up. And over here, you might not, you might not be able to hear it because I turned down the, the volume of the ambient sounds. Um, but again, some of the wiring and cables, uh, are, you can hear some of the creaking uh, from the components of the swing uh, from from the artificial wind and, and rain. And we're, we're coming to the edge of where the snap, or where, where the navigable areas are on this map. So, uh, this might not seem kind of strange to you, but you feel like we're floating in the air about two feet up. And then there's other areas uh, through that quick way over there that can be traveled through, but uh, we're not going to do that at this moment. But again, this is just a really good representation of, of you know, what you can experience in virtual reality and, and you get a sense of of the atmosphere, and it will really give someone the, an idea of what it's like to be in a particular space. And you want to create an environment that, um, to, to give someone a sense of what, what it's like. So, so because it's almost like you're being placed in that environment. Um, that's all I got to say, guys. This is a really, it was very fun being able to create this and really taking my Unreal Engine skill sets to the next level as I continue to practice, learn, research, all the above as, as I go into that journey. So, hope this video was helpful. And thank you very much for stopping by.